We were under attack in Turley, New Mexico. Hello, everyone. Our only recourse? Drink the wines of the San Juan. Last night was a bit of an interesting Monument adventure. Valley was serene, but we found out that nature we're, is uh, natural, and it comes with attack. some unforeseen surprises. But more on that later. Welcome to this episode of Leon's Great Escape. Infested. We left the valley early in the morning after downing a cup of joe courtesy of the front office at our KOA. Our target destination is a Harvest Host partner winery in Turley, New Mexico, called Wines of the San Juan. Harvest Host is a network of wineries, breweries, farms, and museums that allows us to stay for free on their property. The catch, there's always a catch, is that you can only stay for a single night and it's assumed that you're going to take part in the festivities that they provide. The good news is that we happen to enjoy beer, wine, food, and museums, so it's a win-win. We highly recommend Harvest Host to anyone looking to travel the states for a prolonged period of time. There is an annual fee of $80, but it's well worth it. It will pay for itself. Looking at the map, it turned out that a small detour would take us to a unique location called Four Corners Monument. This monument marks the quadrant point in the southwestern United States where Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah meet. It's the only point in the U.S. shared by four states. It's got a catchy name, the Four Corners Region, and for $5 per person, you can take a photo there. If you scour the internet, though, you'll find out that this location is hotly debated, and it may be off the mark by two miles. That means that this monument doesn't even sit where the actual four points is. But if you suspend your disbelief, as I did, you too could have an enjoyable photo such as this. I will note that Candace was not amused, but we had a good time nonetheless. After the photo, we hit the road, but not before cleaning the watermelon that exploded out of our fridge due to some bumpy roads. Mental note, we need to find a better way of securing the fridge on drive days. Okay. Wines of the San Juan is located in northern New Mexico, near the Navajo Dam. We were unaware of this, but it's renowned for its fly fishing and has a gorgeous river running through it. Upon arriving, we were greeted by the proprietors, Marsha and David, and a girl that worked there named Cindy. Cindy would eventually suggest that we try the green chili burger at the Sportsman. We're here at Navajo Dam at the Sportsman to try the chili burger that we've been told by Cindy is delicious, and here it comes. Here's the chilies. It's supposed to be real spicy. And the burger looks great. So I'm gonna cut it in half and give it a taste. It's an awesome burger. New Mexico's state motto is Land of Enchantment, and Wines of the San Juan does not disappoint. You want trees and meadows? Horses? A pond? Medal winning wine? They have peacocks. What a treat of a day. You might be asking yourself, how can such a day be met with an equally eventful evening? Well, I'd like to introduce you to Lepidotera Noctuidae Loxine Polia. I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced. But that's science speak for disgusting moths the size of softballs that want to eat your soul. We picked up these stragglers in the Monument Valley, at least a hundred of them. Apparently they hid under our slide outs and we invited them to stay when we broke camp. They're hard to catch and if you do get a hold of one, they leave a smear in your hand like charcoal dust and tiny feathers. They're charcoal dust fairies, and they're not into letting you sleep. I smashed, I bashed, I whiffed, I stumbled, I thudded my way through them like the king of the north. Eventually, I was victorious and I settled into bed. 
that's when I felt something fluttering under the covers on my thigh. My war cry was something like that that you would hear in a nursery school when a toddler is startled by a cockroach. I smashed the charcoal fairy with my bare hand, and then I slept uneasy for the rest of the night. The sun rose, and we put the battle of the moths behind us, but not before purchasing one more bottle of wine from our gracious hosts.